The Barcelona of today owes so much to the 1992 Olympic Games. So if you're wondering if a visit to the Museum of Olympic and Sport up here on Montjuic is worth it, I'm going to show you in this video. What's up guys, Patrick here, tour guide and your guide to Barcelona and today we're checking out the Olympic and Sport Museum up here in Montjuic right next door to the Olympic Ring, a place that I bring everybody on my tour that is Barcelona's Olympic legacy that explores the incredible transformation that this city went in after the 1992 Olympic Games. So let's find out if this place is worth it on your next trip to Barcelona. Let's get inside. Juan Antoni Samaranc Olympic and Sports Museum is dedicated to the former IOC president and Barcelona native who made the announcement that Barcelona would be the host of the 1992 Summer Olympic Games. It's a great space that I always felt doesn't get the attention it deserves. Despite being on Montjuic, it's easily accessible by foot from Plaza España, and if you don't want to walk, the bus or the funicular leave you just outside the front doors. The inside is divided into several different areas and provides a history of the Olympic Games, sport in Spain, and has all sorts of activities and interactive stations, something that makes it great for kids. If you combine it with the Olympic ring next door, it makes for a complete outing. Not a lot of people know this, but the first Spanish winner from the Olympics was actually the chariot races in the year 129 AD in the 227th Olympiad. It was Luci Menici Natali Cuadroni who won the chariot races. And he was actually from Barcelona, as you can see in the replica stone they have right behind me. It actually says that, from Barcelona, where I was born. This is actually my favorite room in the museum and it gives you a history of sport from the beginning of the 20th century, understanding what was going on with the workers and amateur athletics. One of the things that I've always found to be the most interesting is the 1936 People's Olympics. And these were actually Olympics set up in Barcelona, just here in Montjuic, to protest the 1936 Olympic Games that were taking place in Berlin. Barcelona had really wanted to get the 1936 games and when they were given to Berlin and people started to realize what Hitler was doing over there, Barcelona set up a People's Olympics to boycott what was going on. Due to the outbreak of the Civil War, just two days prior, those Olympic Games were never actually held, so I always refer to them as the Olympics that never were. You can't mention the 1992 Olympic Games in Barcelona without talking about the Dream Team and what they meant to the Olympics. This was the team that everybody wanted to come and see, and this was really the first Olympics that professional athletes were allowed to play in, and this is going to change not only the Olympics, but world basketball forever. Downstairs you have a display of the torches used throughout the years as well as video monitors connected to databases that allow you to watch the past Olympic events. Not to mention the display of Barcelona memorabilia left over from 1992. You can even see the mascot Kobe in all of the different Olympic events. At the end, you'll be able to compete in different tests of speed and coordination that are always a fun way to end your visit. Make sure you leave your records in a comment below. So now you've seen the inside, like I said before, I've always thought it's a great space that if you combine it with the Olympic Stadium just next door, you get a really good idea of how important the Olympics were, not only here in Barcelona, but worldwide. 
Remember, you can always contact me the next time you're in Barcelona if you're looking to do Barcelona's Olympic Legacy Tour with me, where we can explore everything that has to do with the Olympic Games and check out the museum as well. If you like the video, remember to give it that thumbs up and remember to check out some of my other videos so you can know what great things you can do while you're here visiting the city. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you next time.